kitchen right now and some of you have been asking what kind of plants I have so I thought it would be a lot easier just to show you so let's go so let's start off with what I have in my kitchen I just have a green pothos plant I put it here because I kept forgetting to water it and like really I've, it was wilted really bad so I just like left it out here and these plants really like the lights under here so yeah and I have a marimo moss ball look at that it's so cute um I have sorry a string of hearts in there and inside these little domes I have a string of turtles I have two of them actually when I got them they were like not even going over the edge of the planter and now they're like everywhere this one literally I put it in here and I have not opened it and it grew all those little babies so I have to leave it alone I have a variegated string of hearts right there and just an empty pot I need to take out because the plant died in there <laughs> all my propagations I don't have that many right now uh, this is cuttings that I took from one of my plants in my bedroom and then some Mikan's cuttings. I don't think this leaf is going to root because it's just been sitting in there doing nothing for like ever. Oh, it's like stuck in there. I don't know, maybe it'll root, but it just feels super limp. I even stuck um, a philodendron in there and the philodendron is rooted. Um, I don't think this is gonna root. And this mandula, Pothos has been in there forever and it hasn't changed a bit. And then I have this Peperomia that I got at Target actually. I really liked the pot because it has that little thing. And yeah, it was only like 12 bucks, so good deal. And then a BB Tears plant right over here. <laughs> it started to die, so I put it near my kitchen sink so that I could water it more, which I do water it more. So hopefully that stays alive. Of course, I have a bamboo right here. Up above, I have a begonia. I absolutely love these plants. This is the second one I have. And the leaves just constantly bloom. This is a cutting from my um, golden pothos plant. That one right there, the one with the variegation, is a new leaf. I'm so proud of it. And in here, it's a cutting of like pothos. Uh, it's not enjoy, it might be like pearl and jade or whatever, but it's literally stayed like that forever. So I don't know what's gonna happen. Like the mother leaf fell, oh, sorry, the mother leaf fell out, nothing ever happened. And I have some micans. They were mailed to me that looks like that's like maybe spider mite damage. I'm not sure. But it was really long and trailing, but I cut it. And I have more micans cuttings in here. Um, that's nothing. It died. I'm so sorry. I have an owl eye peperomia. And with a little baby leaf coming out of there. That was so cute. And I don't know how to say this name, so I'm not going to say it. These are all cuttings that I've taken from other plants. The Chinese money plant, of course, so cute. Um, I don't know how to say this one, but it's a tricolor. Transcend, Transcendia tricolor. I don't know, I'll put the words in there. And then I have a philodendron cream splash so there's that one i have a couple of air plants i went to so many lows to find this guy because i found him once and then i didn't get him and i regretted it so this is my sister's air plant you know it's for my sister that's why i had to get it but really i wanted it i have this beautiful um calathea i don't remember the name of it because the tag says foliage plant but it has new growth coming out right here so beautiful and it's just velvety with purple leaves oh my gosh I just love it so much 
So this is a nerve plant. I don't remember like the real name, but I love this guy in this little pot. So cute. And then I got a Moonlight Sansevieria. My sister's a huge BTS fan. Shout out to her. I should show my new plants I got today. Um, I wanted to add this to a pot of other philodendrons I have. Looks like I need to like polish the leaves. I sprayed it down with neem oil. I also got this begonia today from Plant Depot in Southern California. Look at that. Oh, so gorgeous. It has like silver leaves. Oh my gosh. I love it. And down here, don't at me because I have some crispy leaves, okay? I have, um, what is this? An exotica, like silver exotica. This I took cuttings off of from one of my other plants, you'll see. It hasn't really done much, except for like grow a couple spikes in there. So that's really cool. I have a really crunchy Calathea, but you know, I think she's like a year old right now and I'm very surprised it's still, it's not that bad, you know? And right here I have my ZZ plant. Let me get out of the sunlight. The ZZ Raven. Um, I just recently tried to take leaves off of it to propagate, so we'll see how that goes. And then I have my Peace Lily, which really, it honestly doesn't do anything. People say it'll droop when it needs water, but I feel like she just looks the same all the time, so I don't know when to water her. Up here I have another ZZ Raven. I just was in love and I wanted like an even bigger plant, so I got that other one. What is this, like a starfish Sansevieria, I think? And then this was my work plant, but I took it home because I no longer work there. And she just loves, she just is happy living life. This lady here, sometimes I forget about her but that's okay because she doesn't need that much attention. Beautiful with the long vines. I hope to like combine her with another plant one day. I just don't know when because I'm too lazy. Don't mind my messy porch. So I have a um, donkey tail, I think, or burrow's tail. A rainbow cactus, it's pink. <laughs> it has one of my other leaves in it and I just left it in there. I thought it was kind of funny. Chin cactus, a light bulb, string of dolphins, and I don't know what that is, but it survived the winter. A lot of these didn't. And then a string of buttons, I think, survived the winter. I also have this gorgeous air plant. She just sits in a bowl. I'm not quite sure what to do with her. And then I have my um, lipstick plant. She is getting all the light right here. She's just on a bench at my table, so I need to find a home for her. But when I saw her at the nursery, I didn't get her. It was at Martinez Nursery in Buena Park. Um, I didn't get her and then I was really sad. So I went again a few weeks, not a few weeks later, but it felt like a few weeks later and she was still there, so I grabbed her and I'm very happy. And I have an oxalis right here. Is that how you say it? I don't know, I just say oxalis. I have this one and I have some purple ones too. I'm obsessed. I don't know why she's so droopy. She doesn't need water, but this is her. Maybe I should turn her around like that. Up here I have a golden pothos. She's just chilling. I have another owl eye peperomia. Um, I recently repotted her from a different pot that like had a bunch of dead ones and put her next to that grow light. So hopefully she's happier up there. And I got this peperomia, I wanna say like Rosso, but honestly, I don't know. Don't quote me on that, please. Then I got another peperomia frost right here. She's just chilling up there. She loves it. And I have a Crimson Queen. And like, I'm really bad with Hoyas. She doesn't look happy, but and then there's new growth. So I don't know what to do with her. 
Look at that, tiny little leaf, so cute. Um, if anybody knows, please tell me because I want to make my Hoyas happy. So I have this rubber tree here. I also have a ruby rubber tree that I absolutely love. I don't know what fell out of there, but sorry. Then I have just a burgundy rubber tree. Sorry, the lighting is really bad. And I have, what is this, a money tree. I don't know why, is this like my second money tree? Oh no. <laughs> I don't know what I do wrong with them. Maybe I need to water it more. And then I have this Hoya here, the Hoya Carrii. Look at that, I just got her, so let's, hopefully I don't have bad luck with her. Um, this is cuttings that I took from one of my plants. So cute, it's like already the same size as my other plant. I have a Christmas cactus here, a Peperomia. Um, I really loved this variegation and I had to have it. And I have another woo, Transcendia, I don't know what to call it. But yeah, she's already growing like from where I cut. Look at all that growth. So cool. I love plants. And then I have this Ruby Cascade. I absolutely love this plant. Um, when I first got her, she was in a huge pot and I just killed the entire thing but I managed to save a little tendril so she just lives over here and she loves life oh dear okay good everyone's intact don't you worry okay few down here I have um, neon pothos I also have another neon pothos I have I don't know I don't know what's wrong with me I just love collecting plants and then I have a peperomia hope she has a like she had a whole bunch of new growth and then it died but there's also some new growth back here so I don't know what to do just leave her be I haven't even watered her yet maybe she needs water no she doesn't need water but look at that she has a dead leaf and then I have a um, money plant here the Chinese money plant I love her she's just so big and round and I think this is a string of tears or is there even such a thing is it a watermelon string of watermelon I don't know somebody tell me but I had to have it because I just love this the little growth right there oh my goodness and then I have a little fiddle leaf fig. I think it's the Bambino one, so it won't grow to be that big. And then I have a goldfish plant. The flowers look like little goldfish, so she just lives there in the sun. And I have a penis cactus. I'm not going to touch it because I always get poked. <laughs> Here I have my Hoya. Actually, he has been living for a long time, um, even with his wonky leaves, but I'm doing something right with him. He's happy as a clam right now. And then I have another Christmas cactus. This was like, I thought I killed it, because I got it, this was my first plant ever. And I got it Christmas of like 2019 and yeah I didn't kill it even though I thought it was dead oh my gosh embarrassing I'm so sorry you saw my dead my dead plant how embarrassing just kidding I don't care this is my um I think it's a heart leaf ivy I think it might need watering actually the leaves look a little funny but maybe it doesn't I don't know I can't tell I need my moisture meter um, I hear ivy is our pest magnet, so I'm kind of worried about that. And I have a lovely little aloe plant that likes to do the splits. And I have my African violets. Beautiful big leaves. Oh, and look at the crown in there. It's a crown, right? And then I have some syngoniums. I'm not sure what this one is called. Um, but she has like gorgeous like rust colored leaves. Over here I have my Pothos Enjoy. Oh, sorry, I'm Pothos Enjoy. 
Like, look, beautiful plant, beautiful. And then back here, what in the world? But these plants will do it because it can't survive. Like, white isn't that good for plants. It's all the white that gets crispy. So, it's beautiful, but I think they're temperamental, you know? Look at that. Oh, well. And here, I forget what this one even is called. It looks like, um, like an elephant leaf. Elephant ear. Okay. So, this is my avocado pit. And I just learned that I need to cut it like halfway up the stem but I haven't researched at all so I need to do some research before I do that but it makes sense because it's growing kind of wonky then I have my ZZ plant here I did have him up here and he was doing the splits like crazy splits so I moved him down here and he's already like straightening up so I'm really happy for that oh sorry and over here I have, I am obsessed with these um, Brazil, philodendron Brazil plants. Oh my gosh. So I have, a, I have even more. It's really sad. I love them so much. Look at, look at beautiful foliage and it's just vining. Don't mind my bag of bags. Even more. <laughs> An asparagus fern doesn't really do much. I have... I think it's in a too big of a pot, but I'm just gonna leave it in here for now. The leaves feel fine. The dirt isn't up that high either, but um, it's a golden pothos. I'm not sure if I said that already. Huge plant. And this one, not quite as huge, but still very big. And then I have another Calathea. What is this, like the pinstripe? Or, or not a, I don't know. I'll put the words on there. Okay, and this is my coffee table. I have another um, satin pothos, I think that's the name. I have another one. Oh, I just couldn't say no to her. Look at that. She's nice and full, and then she has some vines. Ugh, I loved it. And I have an orchid. <laughs> whose flowers died and the stem died, but it's okay. I think it's supposed to do that. And I've had, I believe this is a Snow Queen Pothos. Look at that new leaf, gorgeous. I do love one of her leaves over here. Look at that. This made me buy her, I'm like, what? She's so pretty. Very interesting leaves, very interesting to me. And I also have another oxalis. Oh, dead flower. It's okay. But look how happy and perfect she is. I love her so much. And then I actually don't know this name either. I knew it was a prayer, prayer plant, a prayer plant, and I had to have her. Um, what does that say? Stenanthe lubersis. Sienna, Sienna, but I love her. She's gorgeous. And all of my lamps have grow light bulbs in there, so they're getting light. And I have my little parlor palm. This is one of my first plants. These two were one of my first ones. And then I have a couple of anthuriums. Um, I loved her big leaves and I had to have it. And this one had um, sorry, she's dirty. <laughs> Chocolate leaves. Look at that. It's so gorgeous. She was only $7 at Home Depot. Look at that. So pretty. And then I have my Monstera tree. Well, it's not a tree. It's just my moss pole mini Monstera. She wasn't doing that well. And I moved her out here under the light and... I see some like leaves wanting to be birthed. So she's happier out here. And then I have my little ponytail palm. Oh, she likes to get in everyone's business. Oh dear me. There we go. Ponytail palm right here. Here was um, this, I don't know how to say the name, this plant. I had a huge one, but it died. 
And this is like the only stem that remained because it was before I got a lamp in this corner. <laughs> and this one didn't have that much light either where it was. And so I moved her over here and look at her new growth. So pretty. I love plants. I think I'm going to make this video just about my living room and kitchen plants because this is going to be way too long. This is my Schleffler, Schleffler, Schlefflera. I just noticed it has a little dying stick, but that's okay. My variegated Schlefflera. That one's a little newer. And then I have my Chinese evergreen. I don't know. Hold on. I think she'll say what she is. Oh, she needs to be watered, I think. Lady Valentine. Yeah. Beautiful lady. Here we have a really sad one, but it has new growth, so I have hope. I just moved her over here next to this grow light, so hopefully she's happier. See, I told you I had a lot of these plants. This one is one of my like original ones that I bought. I've taken cuttings from her. And look at this silly little branch with these tiny leaves. I'm all for it. I mean, I love the big leaves, but these are all new. I accidentally broke her right there, so sad memories. Look at her tiny leaves. Oh, I'm so in love. When I put this grow light over here, they just really exploded. And then I have an orchid back here that's dying. No, it's just the flowers are spent. And it looks like there's one bloom that needs to open up. I hope it will. Oh my gosh. So, this one, it was... When I got it, it had a bug. I don't know what bugs it had, but it had bugs. And of course the leaf went pretty quickly, but I got rid of the whatever it had. I wanna say it was like spider mites. And when the leaf was spent, I cut it. But look at this new leaf. That was just, it just popped out like last week. Look at that. It looked like a goner and then it wasn't. Um, here I have my Rojo Congo philodendron. It's, I mean, it's not really doing anything right now except growing a new leaf out of here eventually one day. <laughs> and then I have the Tresina. Oh, it looks like she needs to be watered too. I don't know. I need my moisture meter, I'm telling you, otherwise I overwater things. And I'm in love with this one. I got this one close to Valentine's Day. Pepperonia Scandens Variegated. Oh, she has a couple of like new growth that like died off right away. But that's okay, that's to be expected. She looks beautiful though. And surprise, surprise, I have another Brazil. But look how full she is. Oh my gosh, and I love her red. Sorry about the cars. Her red vines coming. Red vines. Yeah. But yeah, she's a lot of new growth and I love her so much. I almost forgot. I am obsessed with stromanthes. I don't ask me why. I don't know. I'm just in love with how they can turn pink. And I have a prayer plant. It wasn't doing so well where I had it. It wasn't getting enough light. So um, I moved it over here with this grow light and it's a lot happier now. It's like actually turning red now because it's supposed to turn red over there. And then another Stromanthi. This one I rescued from a, from a nursery. It looked like it was almost dead and now it has new growth coming out of it. So I'm super excited about that. Ooh. And that's it for part one of my plant tour. Stick around, maybe I'll get up my bedroom plant tour um soon i don't know i have adhd so <laughs> hopefully i see you guys soon thanks for watching